Hi, my name is Chris. I'm a trauma nurse at an emergency department and today we're going to go over uh, something that causes a lot of anxiety for people, the level 1 rapid infuser and how to prime it. So we use the level 1 whenever we want to deliver fluids, particularly blood, quickly. Uh, in our department, we have a massive transfusion protocol that we use for uh, anyone who might be hemorrhaging or, or losing blood in some way. And the level one is what allows us to give them the blood they need quickly. So there's only a couple things we need besides our level one to get things going. We need our tubing and we need fluids, preferably warm and preferably blood. So now we're ready to actually hook up our tubing uh, and prime. A lot of people, this is like the most nerve wracking part. There's a lot of fail safes built into the system. Once you've done it a couple times, uh, you'll get used to it. And even if you do screw up a little thing, you know, if you don't get all the air out of your line, there is a filter designed to remove air from the system. So, I mean, as long as you get most of it, you're doing fine. So on the level one, there's four numbers, and those are the numbers that you follow while you're priming it. Uh, so you're starting here, going to two, going to three, and then going to four. And you're starting, these are your, your tubing that would go to your bags. So this is the bottom of the heating condenser. That goes into there, snap that in, push this down. This can be quite finicky sometimes. You really need to make sure that you have it pushed down far enough. So this is uh, step three. You're gonna run your tubing through the air detector clamp and close the door. That's step three. Step four is putting your air filter into that slot. Then you're basically ready to prime. So when we're ready to spike our bags, uh, it's important to get uh, the air out of it. And there are several ways you can do this. Um, a lot of people will use um, a needle, 18 gauge needle, pop it on the top, push your air out, you're ready to go. If you haven't yet clamped your system, I find the easiest way to do it is to clamp one side, open it up, spike your bag, and basically just push the air into the tubing because you're going to be priming that air out of the tubing anyway. Then you want to go through, make sure all your connections are secure and clamp everything. So we've clamped that, make sure that connection is secure, clamp this, make sure that connection is tight, clamp that, there's a connection there you need to make sure is correct. And then it's probably helpful to take this off. And roller clamp that. Now you're basically ready to prime. You still wanna make sure this side is clamped. You can unclamp here. Squeeze your drip chamber a couple times. You want to fill it about halfway. Go to your next clamp. It should be dripping through. You're going to see your air chamber fill up. Open up your next clamp. Open up your roller. And you're basically primed at this point. So now we're ready to turn on the system. When you do, it's gonna beep. Uh, that's just the system sort of coming online. Uh, if the beeps continue, then there might be something you need to change. The most common uh, error is that there's air in the line. All you have to do is open up your, your roller clamp and continue to prime, and any air that's 
in that chamber that's caught, you can get out and the alarm will, will stop. So just to show you one of uh, the alarms that could go off, uh, if we pull this out slightly, this immediately starts beeping. This is the alarm that's telling you something somewhere in the system isn't connected correctly. It's usually either your air filter, that this door is not closed, or that this is not pulled down far enough. If this is not pushed down far enough, or if this is not pushed in far enough, or if your door is not closed properly. Another alarm you could get is if the fluid that actually does the warming is not full enough. And if that's the case, you open this up and you just you put in distilled water. If this is not pushed down far enough and you've activated the system, you could get fluid leaking from right at the top of the heating condenser. That's not fluid from here. It's not, you don't have to worry about blood coming out. It's fluid that's actually used to heat the system. Uh, so it's something you need to correct, but you don't need to worry about your blood pouring out on you. Uh, so we'll turn it on. One button to turn on, one button to turn off. If you have a green, that means you're good to go. It does take a minute or two for it to come up to temperature. Ideally, you want the system around 41 degrees Celsius. But if you have a patient that's hemorrhaging, there's no reason you can't start now, especially if you're using pre-warmed fluid. Close your door. This is your switch to start the pressurization. You want to see it hit around 300. Now I still have this clamped so nothing is coming through. Before you hook up to the patient, you want to make sure that it's coming through fine. So open up your roller clamp. And you have rapid infusion. And then you can hook up to your patient's IV. So now we're going to talk quickly about switching between bags. Ideally, you only want to have one bag under pressure at one time. If you try to start doing two, you're going to find you can't keep up. While this one's infusing, we're going to prepare our blood. If you're switching and you don't want to finish your saline, you always need to remember to clamp. If you do not clamp and you spike your next bag, it will either this will start going up into your blood or your blood will start going up into your saline and it's not gonna be going where it's supposed to be going. If they're both under pressure and they're both unclamped, it'll work, but like I said, you wanna to stick to one bag at a time or you're not gonna keep up. In our department, we have a marker that's sort of tied right onto our level one so that as we are putting up blood, you, before you even put it in the system, you can mark which unit it is. So if it's your first unit, just a big one on the bag so that you can keep track. So this is clamped. This is clamped, we're spiking our blood. Again, double checking this other side is clamped. You can unclamp this. And as soon as you open up the system again, it'll start infusing. Close it up and you're ready to go.